everyone, I'm Sue Kemple. I'm otherwise known as the Green Smoothie Principal, and the reason for that is because I'm so into these green smoothies and I used to be a school principal. That would be the reason. And my mission is to get into schools, talk to kids and teachers about how important their health is, and there's so many different ways that you can take care of your health, but there's one thing that almost anybody can do, and it's the easiest, most delicious, nutritious thing you can do in your kitchen starting tomorrow. And I promise you, it takes five minutes. The ingredients are simple. You don't have to be a cook. I'm not a cook. You can ask my kids. Right, James? Right. That's right. So I'm going to show you how easy it is with a blender, the fruits and vegetables that you need to make the most fantastic possible superfood that you could make in your own kitchen. So we're going to start here. I'm going to show you what we've got here on the table. We've got some water. Obviously, you can't really make a smoothie without something liquid. And water is the most pure liquid that there is. Um, some people like to put some almond milk or, or yogurt, those kinds of things in your smoothie, and you certainly can. But if you want to keep it pure and you want to just keep it the fruits and vegetables, uh, you want to go with water. Make sure it's a high quality water. If your tap water uh, is good, you can use that. Um, we've got a little filter on our uh, pitcher here so that we can be sure that we take the impurities out of it. The green we're going to use today is kale. Now, let me just say something about greens. You can use any greens. We're calling it the green smoothie because that's the base of this smoothie. And dark leafy greens are very nutritious and they're the one thing that's most lacking in the modern American diet. Kale is an excellent, excellent green to use. Uh, we're, um, we're filming right now in February, which is the perfect season for kale. We're here in North Carolina in February and, and it's kind of a midwinter to spring fruit. It's a uh, vegetable, it's a superfood. The greens are so important. There are, this is an anti-carcinogen. It's been known to reduce heart disease. It has all kinds of vitamins and, and uh, anti-inflammatory benefits, and you, you, just, you just can't do much better than kale. So we're gonna keep it simple, go with one green. You can do one green, you can do several greens, spinach, uh, chard, collards, lots of greens you could go with. We're gonna do kale today. When you get started too, you probably want to have more bananas than maybe you'll use later. So we're going to use three bananas today. It gives the smoothie a really good creamy consistency. And that's really important uh, in, in order for you to get used to drinking the smoothies, which is something that you may not be accustomed to doing. And to make sure, really, that you don't, you don't want to taste the greens. That's the secret. As you get a little further in this process, you might not mind tasting the greens so much, but probably, if you're like most people, eh, drinking a glass of kale is not really your cup of tea. We're going to use blueberries as the other fruit today. Now you can use any fruit you want. That's the, the amazing thing about these green smoothies is you can, the combinations are endless, but we're doing it real simple today. We're gonna to do the kale, we're gonna do the bananas and the blueberries. I know you've heard a lot in the news about the powers of blueberries, the antioxidant benefits. Uh, they're just a fantastic superfood as well. So we're putting so many superfoods into this smoothie and it's really just a few ingredients. You can use fresh blueberries if they're in season. Of course, in February in North Carolina, they're not. Um, so we go ahead and we just use the frozen fruit. One benefit to using the frozen fruit, as long as there's no sugar or syrups added, is that you don't have to put any ice in your smoothie to give it that kind of icy, cold, smoothie consistency that we're used to when we have smoothies. Now, these other ingredients are optional, but I put, the put these in my smoothies all the time. Uh, right here, we've got some golden flaxseed meal, and you may have heard about flaxseed and how beneficial that is, too, to heart health. Again, it prevents cancer. There's just a lot of, um, again, the super food benefits out of, that you can get out of flaxseed. And the omega-3 fats, very important and lacking in a lot of our diets, especially if you don't eat a lot of fish. And there's a lot of questions about the safety of the fish in our water these days, and I don't eat fish, so I make sure that I put that in my smoothie all the time. And right now, my family and I are trying a little experiment where we're incorporating one new superfood uh, each month into our diet, and this month we're going to try maca. Maca root comes from Peru, and it's supposed to be a superfood that primarily uh, gives you a lot of energy and helps balance your hormones. So there's a lot of benefits that you can imagine would come with, with using that. I've noticed an increase in my energy just from using it since Saturday, and today is Wednesday, so it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long. You'll find when you change your diet, you change your health, for you to feel the benefits of it. So, we're going to do this video today to show you how easy it is to do a green smoothie. I give it to people in written form and I tell them about it a lot. But it seems like until they see it, they just don't believe it. So, I want you to time me. I'm looking at my clock right now. It's 20 past 6. And we're going to see how long it takes to actually make this green smoothie. 
First thing we're going to do is put the kale in the blender. Now I've got a fairly powerful blender here. It's a KitchenAid. So you can put the stalks in. If your blender is not quite that powerful, maybe you don't want to put the stalks in and that's okay too. You can get the benefits with it or without it. Uh, again, depending on, on the strength of your blender, you may want to chop them up real fine. Or in my case, sometimes I like the challenge of just stuffing it in there and seeing how well it went because it's pretty powerful. But you see how much, how many greens I'm putting in here. Who in their right mind would sit down and eat a plate of kale like this? I don't know anybody who would. It's kind of nuts. All right, so there's the kale. We've got that in the blender, so we filled it up. And we're going to go about halfway in the blender with the water. This is going to be the first thing that we blend. Put the lid on. Probably go with the highest level that you have here. And the highest one I've got is liquefy.